Okay, and now this is when I put my mask on because I don't want to breathe in the hair and the dander. I tend to take a comb and a brush, or a brush, I should say, and comb out with just the wide part of it every dog before I dry them. I do it out of habit, I guess, more than anything. Just something I've always done, so I just keep on doing. And it works, so why not? So we're going to get the hair combed out, and this is where you're going to find if there are any tangles you're going to want to get them out. And I will go over that in another video because I don't, he only has one in his tail, and I'm not even sure it's a tangle. He doesn't have much hair. But what you want to do is work those mats out while they're wet because the hair is a little more elastic, and it will help you a lot. But he's ready now to be dried. Dog groomers have their own little force dryers for the most part, and I do have one at home. Because you don't have one, I'm going to show you how to do this without that. But there's a mat right there. I can show you how to do it. You work from the outside, and you pull just a little couple of hairs at a time. This is just more like a tangle. But you can see the comb is getting it, and now it's gone. If that had been allowed to stay there by the end of our shelter in place we've had a lot more problems so we take care of that this is not fun working with a boot on let me tell you but anyway there are several different kinds of hair dryers and most women have at least one kind of blow dryer if you're fortunate enough that you have seen these or your dog has talked to you about them they're a brush with a with a dryer in it and you have one these are great for at home use I use it on my little dog, because since most people don't, we're going to talk about this one. This one's got a high and a low setting. It's not the fanciest. Some of them have multiple, you know, speeds and all that. But what you want to do is dry your dog. You don't want to put them down on the floor and let them air dry. You want to dry your dog. You can put them down on the floor and let them air dry some before you dry them. That will speed up the drying process. But whatever you do, you really do need to dry your dog. It's good for their skin and their hair, too. And I'm going to show you how to do this. I always start wherever the shortest hair is, and on him, that's going to be on his back. Now, do you notice that I am far away from him? There's a reason for that. You don't want to burn their skin. So you want to stay as far away as you can get and still get them dry. This is almost completely dry as it is. The reason I'm combing it at the same time is it separates the hair and it allows it to dry faster by allowing the hair to get down in just like it does with our hair. He is going to get a haircut, so I am brushing backwards. We're going to make this hair stand up so that I can get a smooth haircut when I'm done. Um, you want legs to go up, tail to go down, legs up, body forward, head forward. If you're doing this just because you want a dry and clean dog, you don't have to do that. All right, let me finish drying him real quick.
when you're trying to dry their heads, they're going to try to pull away from you. Most dog groomers hold on to their chin hair. We're not pulling, we're simply holding. It gives us a grip and it can't bite us as much. seen me do this. I'm not yanking, I'm guiding. That's just like your leash and collar would do. I'm just using it like that. His face may not be 100% dry, but that's okay because it will be dry by the time I get to the rest of him. And if you are not comfortable holding your dog by the chin hair, I get it. That's something that groomers practice and are taught and we're pretty good at it. Dogs are pretty used to it. You can hold them around the muzzle instead, either from above like this or from underneath like this. Just don't squeeze hard. That just gives you control. You can put the dog where you need it and you can do what you need to do, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you in a different video how to get the hair out of his eyes because I'm sure that right now this is driving a lot of you crazy. Well, there's a way you can do it at home without interfering with what your dog groomer wants done when you go back. The big thing here is just to make sure that your dog is brushed out completely. If you can get a comb like this one or like anything through them and you can see the skin, then you know that they are brushed out well. And that is going to go a long ways towards your relationship with your dog groomer when you get back. She'll be able to continue or he'll be able to continue with exactly what they've been doing if you help them maintain your dog at home a little bit by bathing and drying in a proper manner. Brushing, all of that. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do the little bit of scissor maintenance that we want you to, or clipper maintenance that we want you to do at home, okay? That way you can keep your dog neat and clean and tidy during the lockdown, all right? Watch for the next one.